Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Danielle here, and you guys, I was a little hesitant to even post today's video because as you can tell, my voice is a little out of whack because I've been sick all week. Like literally, you guys, all week, like Monday, up until today, which is Sunday, yesterday I had absolutely no voice, and today I at least got it back, my energy's up. So I wanted to go ahead and go through with our third haul for this week. So you guys, I ended up going again to the Goodwill that's closest to where I live. It's within walking distance, super easy to get there. So I came out with a few goodies, uh, stuff for fall, and even you guys, I got shorts. So oh, they were cheap. I don't know what I was thinking, but they're super cute. So you guys, I can't wait to show you guys. So let's get straight into the haul. Guys, we are at my one and only Goodwill. So you guys, it's pretty hot. Just finished walking. The usual Goodwill location that I go to. Of course, if you guys want the dress, I'll leave it linked down below. Go on in and see what we can find. So let's go ahead and show off what I got. I only got one bag worth. I ended up spending around $71 on all of this, but I can't wait to show you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, if you've been watching my previous videos, you guys know that I've been getting super lucky with shoes, and I don't know what it is, man. Like, literally, the Goodwill that I live next to, they don't usually have, like, the best merchandise, especially not in shoes, but I've been getting super lucky, and you guys, I ended up finding these boots right here. It has, like, the side goring. It's got an all-over, like, reptile type skin. It's got like a point tote, but it's also square, which is really awesome. And what kind of sucks is that it's a kitten heel. And I don't, I can't walk the best in them. It, I get really, really wobbly. And so I'm not the most confident when I wear them. But you guys, these fit me like perfectly. And they're so awesome, super cute. So can't wait to style these. And you guys, the color of the week was blue. I did end up walking away with a few blue tabs. So that makes me really happy. And you guys, I don't know what is up. I've been walking away with more um, bottoms and tops. So this haul, I only walked away with two tops. One of them happened to be a blue tag. So this sweater here was $6.99. I only got it for $3.50. And you know, it's been, LA weather is very confusing, guys. In the morning, it's cold. In the afternoon, it warms up, gets really super freaking hot. And then around like six, seven o'clock-ish is when it starts to cool down and gets like freaking freezing. So I ended up walking away with this little sweater here. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it does have like a textured, um, bodice to it, but then the neck here has like this little ribbed bib, which I think is super cool Just adds a bit more element and characteristic to just like a plain old sweater And it kind of has like balloon sleeves, so I thought it was really cute for like three dollars and fifty cents Heck yeah, the second shirt that I ended up getting is honestly. It's just the basic This one cost me $5.99 and it's just this crew neck little t-shirt here, but it's entirely velvet So I thought that was a pretty cool little twist and it's pretty fitted as well, so it fits me pretty nicely. But you can't go wrong with that. And it's black, so you can style it with literally anything. I walked away with like summer kind of springish pieces, but I literally had so much time just to waste because Arthur was at work, I was all by myself, and I kind of didn't want to just stay home and Netflix. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna spend some time at Goodwill. And I ended up walking away with this dress that gives me like major Reformation vibes. So I think it's super cute and it's a blue tag. So I only spent $4.50 on this dress, you guys. But it's just this like army olive green color and it's a midi dress. But what's really cool is that it has this like asymmetrical button closure on the front. And I just think it's super, super cute. 
adjustable straps fits perfect for the little girls so really cute with this and like I said even though this is more like springish summery I can definitely wear this now and just have like a turtleneck underneath maybe like a brown colored or even like a white would be really pretty hey guys of course I couldn't walk away without taking this little gingham skirt which is really cool not much to it really besides this like asymmetrical button closure on the front an asymmetrical hem which I think is super cute and then just your classic gingham print which I think is super adorable and you guys this is like an easy easy fall staple because you can just style it with like some tights some docks a turtleneck and you are good to go so really love this one really cute okay you guys these are all the shorts that I ended up walking away with and because we're more into the fall season now I'm just gonna browse through these really quickly but they're all shorts kind of have like a vintage feel to them so that's why I ended up walking away with them and all of them were only $4.99 you guys that is like so freaking cheap you guys always hear me talking about how expensive LA prices are when it comes to thrift stores and so the fact that they were only $5 I was like I'm crazy not to pick these up so I ended up walking away with these light wash vintage type of looking jeans uh, they're called tomboy but kind of have like this levi imitation patch back pocket so never heard of this brand before but they look really nice with like subtle fading ended up walking away with these high-waisted levi's which i think are super freaking cute they're 512 does that mean anything to anyone it, it kind of honestly doesn't mean anything to me but it has this like faded wash they're black i actually like that they aren't distressed they just have a really clean hem so perfect for upcoming hot weather thought those were really cute got these Ralph Lauren shorts in this really awesome like indigo dark periwinkle type color so thought these were cute and these are high-waisted too you guys so I don't know how I got so freaking lucky love those and then you guys the last pair of shorts that I got again this was a blue tab so I only paid original price was $4.99 I only paid $2.50 for these and they are these really striped uh, high waisted and they're also long shorts what's really cute is that they have like contrast color block patterning to them so we have like the white and then we have the denim color which is pretty cool I'm not much of a fan of really short shorts I much rather wear longer shorts like that so definitely work out in my favor so you guys a piece of advice that I have when you go thrifting is that don't just pay attention to what is hanging on hangers I would look at stuff on the ground because this is how I found this next skirt right here it is from Zara I paid $5.99 for it it's on trend with this snakeskin print as pleats it's a midi skirt so easily just pair this with like a long sleeve or a turtleneck some really cute black boots Oof, would look so freaking cute and you guys it was right in my size so definitely had to walk away with that one <coughs> <coughs> Oh, my throat. You guys, if I'm talking fast, that's because I'm trying to suppress all these coughs. But we are nearly there. Then I can finally give my throat some relaxation. But you guys, this next midi skirt, I absolutely fell in love with. $5.99 for it. They had a lot of different types of midi skirts. So I thought it was really cute. But this is the only one out of all of them that they had that actually fit me. I only spent $5.99 on it. And I thought it was a little weird. I'm not sure if it's wrinkled like this because that's what it looks like or whether it just needs to be like steamed or ironed. Also, what's really weird about it. Okay, but let's just get into it. It's pretty much just this midi floral skirt and it has an elastic waistband with a little scalloped black trim. If you guys can see that. So what I thought was weird is that the lining is actually white and I don't know if I'm a fan. Oh, actually, it's light pink if you can see that. Um, but you can see it right through the sheer fabric. I'm not sure if I'm a total fan of that just because I think I would prefer to be like a burgundy color like this or even a black. But either way, it's going to give my style an overall feminine look. So really happy with that. So you guys, these next pants don't even fit me. But I just, you know, it was like one of those things that you want so bad that you just want it in your closet. But in this case, I'm probably going to post it on Depop or Poshmark just because I want someone else to have them. Like I just thought they were so freaking cute. And they are these plaid pants right here they are a vintage guest jean and not only are they plaid you guys but they kind of have like a hint of glitter all over the pant and did I 
to mention, it is a flare leg, you guys. If this doesn't yell retro and vintage, I don't know what does. But these are absolutely adorable, and they were only $6.99. So you guys, if you want to definitely take these off my hands, I'm going to be posting them real soon. So keep an eye out for that. And then, of course, I'll leave my Depop and then my Poshmark link down below if you guys want to know that. Moving on to my next pair of pants, and honestly, I just kind of got these because they were also blue tab. Blue tab. So I only spent $3.50 on them, and I just feel like a good wide leg pant just makes you look instantly like stylish and fashionable without really trying. So I ended up getting these light pink pleated wide leg pants, which I think are really cute, maybe with like a mule and just like a really soft colored top would be super freaking cute. Moving into my last pant, um, my last haul, if you guys watched it already, or if you haven't, I'll leave it linked down below. I walked away with a lot of trousers, and so I'm still on the hunt for more trousers, more colors. Originally, I wanted like a true pastel blue trouser. Well, you guys, I ended up finding one, and these are originally from ASOS. I only spent, it's a blue tag. I only spent $3.50 on these pants. They're so freaking cute and fit me perfectly. I think something with like a sweater or really feminine cute like flowy top would be perfect with these. But they just have a single pleat. They're a little wrinkly but just has like a tapered leg. Very, very cute. It's more on the professional side but I feel like nowadays you can easily dress it down with sneakers and like a sweater or something. But you guys, that pretty much does it for the end of this week's thrift haul. If you liked any of the pieces, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, leave a comment down below on which one you liked. If you guys are interested in any of them, I'm going to have them up on Poshmark. I'm thinking of maybe starting to use Depop again. Do you guys, what are you guys most familiar with? Depop, Poshmark, mm. But also you guys, I wanted to thank you guys so much for helping this channel reach 5,000 subs. 5,000 eggies! That is so awesome, you guys. Honestly, this channel started at a kind of a low point in my life and I just wanted to feel more productive. This channel came about and I'm so happy that I can share my love and appreciation for thrifting with all of you guys because literally people around me don't really thrift as much as I do and aren't really into it. So it's awesome that you guys are actually watching my content. So that's freaking awesome. But you guys, I need to really go drink a tea or eat some soup because my throat is killing me. But as always, guys, I post a video once a week. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.